In this video, we're going to establish the principle of superposition for our second order linear uh, homogeneous differential equation. So just recall from linear algebra that when we have an equation that's equal to zero, so in this case I have a second order linear differential equation that's equal to zero, when the equation is equal to zero, we say that it is homogeneous. If the equation is equal to some g of x where g of x isn't zero, then we say it's non-homogeneous. So in this case here, I have a second order linear homogeneous because it's equal to zero differential equation. And right here, I have a second order linear non-homogeneous differential equation. And the principle of superposition for linear second degree differential equations over some interval i just says that if we have two solutions to our differential equation, our homogeneous differential equation, that if we take the linear combination of those two solutions that the result is itself also a solution over the same solution interval. So remember when we take a linear combination we're just letting c sub 1 and c sub 2 be scalars or real numbers in this case. And this principle of superposition, even though I'm doing it specifically for a second degree case, extends to nth degree linear homogeneous differential equations. But for right now, for our purposes, we're interested in second degree linear homogeneous differential equations. So remember, if it's a second degree linear homogeneous differential equation, it looks like this, a sub two y double prime, where a sub two is some function of x, a sub one times y prime plus a naught times y, and because it's homogeneous, it will be equal to zero. And the idea is, if, is that if y sub one and y sub two are solutions, then we when we plug in the uh, y sub one and y sub two and their derivatives, we should get uh, zero. That's what it means to be a solution. So if we take y sub 1, a sub 2, y sub 1 double prime plus a sub 1, y sub 1 prime plus a naught, y sub 1, this has to equal zero or y sub 1 isn't a solution. And similarly, a sub 2, y sub 2 double prime plus a sub 1, y sub 2 prime plus a naught times y sub two also must equal zero or y sub two isn't a solution. And what we want to demonstrate is that the linear combination of these two is also a solution. So if it's a solution, that means that if we plug in y equals to this linear combination, c sub one, y sub one plus c sub two, y sub two, and then we take its derivatives when we plug y and its derivatives into the differential equation, we should be able to demonstrate that it evaluates to zero. So the first derivative of y is just going to look like c sub one, y sub one prime plus c sub two, y sub two prime. And the second derivative is just going to be c sub one, y sub one double prime plus c sub two, y sub two double prime. And then we take these and plug them into the original differential equation right here. So we get a sub two times y double prime, but y double prime looks like this. It looks like c sub one, y sub one double prime plus c sub two, y sub two double prime plus a sub one times y prime, but y prime is just this piece right here. It's c sub one, y sub one prime plus c sub two, y sub two prime plus a naught times y, but y is just the linear combination right here, c sub one, y sub one plus c sub two, y sub two. And the idea is that we can then distribute the a sub two, the a sub one and the a naught into the parentheses and use the associative and commutative properties of addition to group the elements that have c sub ones and to group the elements that have c sub twos. And when we do that, we can factor a C, sub, a C sub one and a C sub two off. So when I distribute group and factor off a C sub one, it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna get C sub one times A sub two Y sub one double prime plus A sub one times Y sub one prime 
plus a naught times y sub one plus, now we do this, the, all the terms that have the c sub two, which means we can distribute and then factor the c sub two off. So we get a sub two times y sub two double prime after we factor the c sub two out plus a sub one times y sub two prime plus a naught times y sub two. And because y sub one and y sub two are solutions, we know that those are uh, these pieces here need to evaluate to zero. So we get c sub one times zero plus c sub two times zero, which is just equal to zero. So indeed, when we plug in the linear combination of the two solutions, we the thing that we get, the linear combination, is itself also a solution. And that is the principle of superposition for homogeneous second degree linear differential equations. The superposition principle doesn't necessarily hold for nonlinear differential equations.